Hey everybody, Garrison here, and today we're gonna go over uh, the new Ravnica event. So uh, I guess this one's Gideon's Sacrifice, and uh, I, as, as you can tell, I already did the event. Uh, I really wasn't paying attention. Um, kind of got on and just uh, decided that uh, I was gonna play a game, and then the two and about. Uh, 45 minutes later and uh, only one loss and of course I didn't record it uh, we had the event complete so I just decided that I wanted uh, something that I kind of like playing around with every every once in a while um, just when I'm sitting around not really doing anything it's playing cavalcade of uh, calamity so the card's kind of cool just makes you play a bunch of one ones and if you get there you get there if you don't you don't uh, so uh, this was just basically I mean, since the event is uh, limited to three sets, uh, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, and War of the Spark, uh, there, there's, you know, some of the the things that happen between cards, some of the synergies aren't really all there. So, in case anybody's wondering, uh, yes, this is the entire list. There is nothing below the 22 mountains there. So, I kind of go through the whole thing here, I guess. I'm going to flip it over this way so you see it all. Uh, just a four Goblin Banneret, four Tin Street Dodger, four Torch Courier, four Cavalcade, Cavalcade of Calamity. Uh, went opted for the four, the full four Cranko, uh, just because uh, he's really good. And if he dies, it's fine. If you play the second one because you, for some reason you don't want to make the extra Goblin, uh, you want need the extra damage from the one Cranko on the following turn because he. He will trigger Cavalcade the first time. Um, it's just good. Uh, four Legion War Boss because a 2-2 two -two that makes a 1-1 one -one every turn. When we're playing this card, it's really good. Uh, we're playing four Goblin Gathering, which is interesting. Not the greatest. It's not super fast. Uh, just a couple of risk factors uh, just to try to, you know, late in the game, draw a couple of cards or get that extra damage in. Usually you're drawing cards because if they see a Cavalcade, they know what's up. So, uh, four skewer the critics because we've almost always got spectacle. Really don't care about uh, shock. I guess it'd be the other thing you could put in there. You want everything you want. You know, one mana be as cheap as possible. Uh, then we've got a, a couple of Tybalt just because he adds the one ones that do an extra point of damage if they die as well. So with cavalcade, um, you're always getting two with that double even if it gets blocked. So it's pretty good. And then uh, Chandra because. The card is great in mono red, and drawing extra cards is just, I guess, I guess it's really what we want to do when we just puke our hand out. So, I believe there were a couple of other cards that had some potential. Uh, so, like, you have Grim Initiate, which I wasn't 100% sold on, but when it dies, it does amass one. If you don't have anything else that amasses, it's kind of okay. Um... So, and then, of course, you could go to playing some, like, I don't know, some, some interesting things like combat tricks. Uh, sure Strike after, you know, triggering the Cavalcade. Um, if you need to kill something bigger, you guess you could play that. But uh, all in all, I just kind of felt like it watered down. Any of that would water down the deck. Uh, the other one card that's really good in this is Clamor Shaman. Uh, Cavalcade dexed. I, everything I've seen, I should say, and and what I played traditionally play this uh, in multiples, but I wanted it to be a little bit lower to the ground um, within this. So like I just decided that adding in like the banneret was the way to go for this one. Um, I I have something similar to this already built, so I uh, I enjoy it. <laughs> so. Uh, I can still play the event, so we're gonna try to play play a game or two, see what uh, what it comes up with. Like I said, I get up this morning. It's Saturday, uh, so I played F and M last night, and got up this morning, uh, sitting around waiting for basically my day to start, drinking a cup of coffee, and uh, one thing led to another, and we ended up uh, finishing the event. So uh, this is great if we get get a second land, we keep it because. Uh, we are running 22, but uh, we are greedy. We are greedy as all get out. Now, 
I think we're just play Tinsir Dodger. If we draw a land, we want to play. Uh, I think actually, no matter what, we're gonna play Banneret next turn. Yeah, so that's fine. We need a land though. We need a mountain bad. Take two mountains would be great. So the other thing to remember, like with Tinsir Dodger, is that with Cavalcade, you can continue to just beat face. So. A torch courier. And one ones do start to steamroll here if they can uh, get in there. So it's kind of nice to see what the uh, what the deck can do. It's all kind of also kind of interesting to see what people have come up with for uh, this event, just because the simple fact that you are limited to a card pool um, with only three sets that in in my mind um, don't like they're okay together but they're not they're not like three you know three block sets used to be where they they all work together so come on land come on land come on land there we go and hopefully, yeah, say hopefully they don't have a spell pierce. And this is where things can get fun from our side. It's probably not fun from uh, your opponent's side of things, but I have fun with it, so it's okay. Uh, another thing to to think about this: so like we have the Cranko, which doesn't seem that great, except that next turn we can actually sack the Torch Courier. Uh, we don't miss out on any points of damage. Uh, but Sack Torch Courier to give Cranko haste. Uh, it would trigger the Cavalcade. And now, if we, if we draw a land, we definitely... I think we definitely do that, because they won't be able... doesn't look like... Unless they bounce. That's really good. We'll, take, we'll just take that. <laughs> so, it's a good thing that they had the uh, Return to Nature... Because, uh, what does that card even do? Yeah, see, I probably could scoop that up there. Can't even see it. It looks like it's a modal, modal green spell with destroys enchantment or something like that. Um, so, I mean, we'll play one more. That was, it, it's kind of the, the, the premise of the base of the deck. We didn't draw anything. Uh, I did have one game earlier where, uh, because it is Chandra, they have to, a, basically ignore Chandra uh, and hope that they can kill us before that happens. Turns out it didn't happen though and I got to minus seven which was pretty fun. Uh, so uh, this is a lot slower. So I think we'll play this because I mean this is gonna be area. So we always we always want a one one haster, which which really stinks for the banner rat because like you're not attacking till turn two, and you're almost never gonna mentor you know plus two him. But uh, so we're gonna activate Tin Street Dodger, attack, and then this is where Skewer the Critics shines. Uh, as, as opposed to, like, traditional burn, Skewer tends to pay, uh, pave the way for you. So that that way, uh, do we just Cranko here? I think we Cranko because glass just, yeah. And I say I think we Cranko because next turn we'll be able to, yeah, our opponent, I wonder if our opponent doesn't have anything. I'm going to leave up Risk Factor, just in case. So, and the fact that, like, Krenko makes two 1-1s one -ones is pretty good. <laughs> Keep highlighting over that Krenko. Hey. So they got to have a... Sure. Got to have some way to deal with it. Take two. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna fire off the risk factor here. 
Yep. So, and this does have first strike as long as it's their turn. So just be a 3-2 on our turn. All right, take any damage. All right. Cool beans. Um, so we're going to activate 10 Street Dodger. I think we activated that one. Yeah, that one can't be blocked. Look it all over for it. Little exclamation point there in the bottom. I don't know, you can't see where I'm pointing to, but uh, I think we're just going to attack here. We're going to get Spectacle. Clear the way. We want to try to clear the way uh, as well as possible for Cranko here. Ooh, so we just Legion War Boss, Tin Street Dodger. And at this point, like, we just load the board. Like, if they've got something to do, it's whatever. Opponent goes to six. We gotta hope for, like, Cavalcade. Uh, and then here's a good reason to, like, never attack. Yeah, ooh, that feels bad. That's okay. Um, make Goblin Gathering. And do we hold the land or pitch the land? I think we hold the land. Mm. Hold land, flashback risk factor. Opponent can't afford to take four, I don't think. Uh, we have not played in a cavalcade. It's really odd. Um... Okay, so cavalcade. And so we get in for three here. And then our opponent won't be able to. So at the end of the turn we'll just jump start risk factor. Hopefully draw like 10 Street Dodger, a couple of one drops. Uh, ooh. I forgot that that card actually was out there. And we may have to play with that sometime. Uh, of course it'll end up being an F and M though because we don't own most everything on Arena. So discard a card here and come on, we need three creatures. Three creatures, not three lands. That was poor drawing. So, Chandra, plus one, what are you gonna get me? A land, wow. So, we just dealt damage, deals that much damage to target player. Um, so we deal one, so let's deal two. Um, I guess they just yeah they block a deal into me so now any little one one is lethal all right two draws living on the edge with some gabos look at all them gabos we kind of went really deep into the uh the board there it didn't need to um probably could have just not played like two or three creatures but uh you're not living. Are we dead? Are we dead? We are dead. <laughs> Seven. Eleven. Yeah. Yep. We are dead. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, that risk factor really stunk. So. But I guess that's like. That's how the deck can play. Either, either you win or you lose. Um, but, like I said, I think it. I ended up playing 11 matches earlier today, and I only lost the one. I might have lost the second one, so it might have been 12, but um, in about an hour with that deck, just blew through this event, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what comes up, uh, what we can make up for the next event, 
and uh, kind of play off of things that are there. So uh, I guess I'll try and make uh, probably another video. We got the Championship 3 going on right now. So I'll probably put something up for uh, Esper. We haven't played that in a while. No, nobody likes that, but uh, I do. I really like Control. So uh, until then, um, remember to check out Liberty Coins MTG, uh, especially for last night's videos from uh, Paper Magic for FNM. And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks.